Hi everyone, today we will be solving the fourth problem from the lead code pattern website under the two pointer section. So here is the question backspace string compare. Let's start with the problem statement first. So we are given two strings S and T and we have to return true if they are both equal when typed into an empty text editor. And we have a special character hash which means backspace. So let's look at this example. So these are the two strings which are given to us as input. We can see a, b, hash, c. So let's start to evaluate them. So if we start evaluating from the back end side right here, so we will get c. Then we have a hash. Hash means a backspace. So this will get cut off. And then we have a. So a will come here as it is. So this is the output for s. Now for t, we have c here. So we'll copy it as it is. Now we have a backspace. So this will get cut off and we will have a here. So a, c is equal to equal to ac that means we have to return true in this case and if we check the output here true because both becomes ac so i think the problem statement is clear let's look at a bigger example so we can understand the problem better so let's look at this example and try to understand how we can come up with a solution so if we start from the ending of the first string s we can see we have d here so we will copy it as it is let me write it here d then we have c here we copy it as it is then we have a hash and then we can see we can't directly delete the element previous to it because that is also a backspace character right so we need some mechanism to keep the count of backspaces so let's create an element so count of let's say backspace count for the string s which is initially equal to zero and then we encounter a hash so we make it equal to one now another we have uh, a backspace here so we make it Two right here then we have g so we check if uh, the backspace count is greater than zero so now what we will do we won't be copying this one and we will make uh, the value of backspace count as as one again since we have used that backspace to delete this character now we have again a backspace so we increase it to two now again if we check at f so let's see we have the backspace count so we delete it so this gets deleted and we decrease the count here so it will be equal to one again now we come to e so we delete it as well and make the count zero here right then we get b here and then we get a here so similarly if we do it for t which is only one backspace character so it uh, this e will get deleted and we will simply get a b c and d so these both are equal so in this case we will return true now let's see how we can form a solution with this let's start writing the code uh, for the solution so this is the function uh, signature and we can define like two pointers s pointer which will be pointing to the last element of s string and we can keep a t pointer which will be pointing to the last element of uh, t string right and then we would need those count which we saw in the solution so we will have two elements bsp count s and bsp count t for both the strings now we start uh, traversing the strings using our pointers so while the s pointer is greater than or equal to zero or the t pointer is greater than or equal to zero right what we have to do is we have to either delete some elements or see if the elements are equal so what we have to do here is uh, we have to remove the characters which have backspace ahead of them so let's see how we can do, uh, do that we can say that while the s pointer is greater than or equal to zero and one more condition that in the s s pointer if that is equal to a backspace character or the backspace uh, count of s is greater than zero so in both of these case we have to delete the characters so one case will be that uh, s of s pointer that means we are currently at that index so either that will be equal to backspace so in this case we will do something or either it won't be equal to that in that case we do something else so let's see what we have to do in both of the case so if the current character is backspace uh, we just simply just do backspace uh, bs backspace count of s we just increase it by one otherwise we decrease the backspace count since we are uh, deleting a character and in order to delete a, that character what we will do we will simply do s pointer minus minus so we simply ignore that character right there now same thing we would have to do for the other string so let me just copy it and paste it here so we just want to do it for t pointer so i will change that t pointer and this string should also be equal to t and then we do bsp count of t now here uh, this will be again t so we will decrease the count of string t and here also it will be t and here as well it will be t right so i think this uh, these two steps are clear so 
what these steps are doing is uh, they are deleting characters on backspace right now when we come out of uh, both of these loops now we have to do some comparison so if the s pointer is greater than or equal to 0 and the t pointer is also greater than or equal to 0 that means we haven't uh, finished either of the string and if s of s pointer is equal to t of t pointer we simply do s pointer minus minus since both of uh, the characters are same and t pointer minus minus and after that what we do is either of these conditions are false that means we either exhausted the string or both of the characters are not equal in that case we know that now we have a situation uh, where the characters are not equal so in that case we simply just return that s pointer is equal to equal to minus one and t pointer is equal to equal to minus one so why we are returning this s pointer equal to minus one and t pointer equal to minus one this means that both of the strings are exhausted so if both of the strings have been exhausted that means we have come to a conclusion that both of them are equal right so that's why we are returning this and if either one of them is greater than or equal to zero then we return false since both of the characters are not equal otherwise this condition would have caught it so i think this is clear and after we are done with the loop we can just return true that means both of the strings were equal we never uh, hit this condition okay so i think it is fine now let me just copy this solution and let's paste this here and let's try to see if there are any syntax errors no syntax errors and it is giving true and true let's try to submit the code so there is an error let me see where we are hitting this so a b and if we delete both of them okay so these both are empty so that should have been true let me see where is the issue okay so i found the issue was on line 28 where we should have added here minus one so let's see if that fixes it here let me fix it here as well minus one and let's copy this and run on this case so now it is giving true which was expected let's submit this so now we can see uh the code is running fine and it is faster than 100 percent of the solution so i hope this video helped uh if it did do hit the like button and please subscribe to the channel thank you